Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can upload your website via FTP and we're going to be using a free resource. The resource is altervista.org and they offer free hosting. You will have to have the domain name be whatever you type in here with the addition of .altervista.org but it is a, a free resource and there are lots of resources out here. This is just one example. I'm going to be using Firefox's Fire FTP which is an FTP program. It's a plugin that you can download in Firefox and again there's lots of different FTP programs but I'll just be using this because it's a free resource. So I've opened up a window that gives me access to Fire FTP. You can open this by going to the tools menu bar which I know you can't see, but up at the top I'm going to Tools. I'm going to Web Developer, and because I've already installed Fire FTP, it gives me access to this. So you will have to install the Fire FTP plugin to be able to use this FTP protocol through Firefox. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign up for an account at AltaVista. So you need to put in an address and make sure that it's available. I've just put my name. It is available. So I'm going to sign up and then I'm just going to go through the sign up process and you'll need to place your personal data in here. So I'm just going to fill this out and then I'll come right back with you. Once you've gone through the process, you're going to need to check your email so that you can confirm that you did sign up for this service. Once you've gone through the email process, it will create your account and then you'll land on the welcome page where you can do different things. So you actually can upload via FTP through their file management service as well. I'm going to demonstrate how to do this by using Fire FTP. So from this landing page right here, if you actually go to where it says file management and click go to file management, it's going to take you to the file management section right here. And this will get you into the AltaVista main window where you can do all sorts of different things that you might need to do. What we want to do is we're not going to upload or create pages through their file management system, but we actually want to just upload in Fire FTP. So in order to upload in Fire FTP, I need to get some information. I need to have the host name, I need to have the username, and I need to have the password. Sometimes when you're going to be FTPing, you might need some additional settings, and those are going to be these sorts of settings right here. So you might need your host name, the port, the username, your password, the mode, usually set this to be passive mode if it's asking for it, and sometimes you might need to specify encryption. So you can get all this stuff from AltaVista, and let me show you where that's located. If you ever need to find out what this is, if you go to the application button up at the top, it will tell you what the FTP information is. So here's all the information that I just kind of talked to you about. So this is where you can locate it in your specific account. And then the password, of course, is the password that AltaVista gave you. If you want to change the password, you can go up to your personal profile. And if you go to the profile link, you'll have the option at the bottom of this page to specify what your old password was and what your new password is going to be. If you don't like the password that AltaVista provided to you, you can easily change this information here. I'm just going to go back to my applications just in case I need this information. We already kind of discussed what it is, but I will copy this FTP host address. I'm going to go into Fire FTP and I'm going to create a new account. So up here in the left I can create a new account. I'm going to go ahead and click on the create new account pull down menu and because I don't have an account so far when I click this button it's going to take me to the account manager. So I need to give this account a name so I'm just going to call this AltaVista and the host is going to be the host name. The login is whatever your username is and then the password is whatever the password is that you're using. So I'll put that information in 
and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. You don't need to worry about any of these connection or advanced tabs. You can just plug this in and click OK. And now if I click this button right here, connect, it's going to connect to the host. And I'll know that I've connected to the host because I'm going to see in the right hand pane this little folder and you can see that it already contains an index.html file. The reason that this file is here is because AlterVista created this file. So if I go back to AlterVista and if I go into my site, and I'm just going to open this in another tab, you can see that this is the default page that's currently there. So if I type in the URL that I'm using, which in my case is emilyk.altervista.org, this is currently the home page. You'll see that once we upload the website that we're going to be putting up there, this home page will change. So going back to Fire FTP, I'm now connected to the host. I now need to navigate to where my folder is located on my computer. Your computer may be set up a little bit differently depending on the hard drives that you have and what operating system you use, but hopefully you'll be able to figure out where you are. I know that the folder that contains my information is in the volumes hard drive for me, so I'm just going to drill down to where my stuff is. And I have the all the files that I want for this website are in a folder that on my computer called AlterVista website and I have my index page and I also have an images folder that contains an image. So I'm going to want to upload both of these files onto my AlterVista hosting account. So I'm going to select the files I want. I'm going to press the little arrow button that's pointing to the right. This allows you to upload something to the server. If you use this arrow that's pointing to the left, that's going to allow you to download something from the server. We want to upload, so I'm going to go ahead and click these. And it's letting me know right away that, hey, there's already an existing file called index.html. What do you want to do? Do you want to overwrite it? Do you want to overwrite everything? Do you want to skip it? Do you want to skip everything? We're just going to click overwrite all and then it's going to upload and down here at the bottom of the Fire FTP pane it gives you the log so it tells you the status of what happens and if there's any errors or anything you'll be able to see what goes wrong and get some feedback. My website uploaded just fine so you can see that now my images folder is up there along with my index.html and if I go back into my AlterVista homepage and click refresh the home page has now changed and you can see it just took a second to bring in the background the images and the image that I'm displaying on the page but this is the web page that I built. So alternatively from the Google method that I showed in one of the other videos this is another way that you can upload files onto the web. I like AlterVista because it's a free service that doesn't put advertising on your website so a lot of the free services force you to have some sort of advertising but AlterVista doesn't. There are some limitations to the hosting. I mean, it is free after all, so there's some size limitations, but you can read more about that on the AlterVista website. I did want to share this with you, though, because this is a perfectly acceptable free resource that you can use to upload your work while you're in class or while you're learning about web design, or even if you wanted just to put a website up and have it be live on the web, this is a great resource.